Grade 5 Math, number 11.5, Three-Dimensional Figures. A solid figure has three dimensions. It's got length, width, and height. Think of a stick of butter. Polyhedrons, like prisms and pyramids, are 3D figures with faces that are polygons. See this triangular prism right here? This is a polyhedron, and it's got a base for the top, a base for the bottom, and it's got rectangles for sides. A prism is a polyhedron that has two congruent polygons as its bases. The base is a polygon or circle which is used to measure or name the 3D figure. So whatever the base is, that's the name of the figure. If it's a triangle, then it's a triangular prism. If it's a square, it's a square prism. The lateral faces of a prism are rectangles. All these lateral sides here are rectangles. See, if you were to open this triangular prism up, it would have a bunch of rectangles, and then the bases would be triangles, see? And then you could fold it back up again. So a pyramid is a polyhedron with only one base. Okay? They look like this. It's only got one base. All right. There are several types of prisms. Each is named by how many sides its base has. Whatever the number of sides it has is of the base, a triangle has three, if, it, if the base has six sides, then it's going to be a hexagonal prism. If the base has ten sides, it's going to be a decagonal prism. See? But they all have two bases, a top and a bottom, like a box. So it's like a box that has different amounts of uh, numbers of sides around it. You know, if it's a pentagon box, it's got five sides around it. If it's a rectangle box, it's got four sides around it, like that. Or a square box has four sides around it. See that? So they're named by the shape of their top and bottom, by their base. And prisms all have two, all in the shape of what their name is. So prisms have a top and a bottom, they have two bases. And their lateral sides, that are all rectangles, they all go straight up and down, okay? But that's different with a pyramid. Even though pyramids are also named by the shape of their base, a triangular pyramid has a triangle base, a square pyramid has a square base, a rectangular one has a rectangle base, a pentagonal one has a pentagon base. So like like the prism, that's the same thing because they're named off of the you know what their base is. But they only have one, see? And because they only have one, the top falls in on a slant and meets at a vertex. See that? So pyramids have only one bottom. And the lateral sides are all leaning in on a slant. See that? So they're named just like the prism, but that's about as far as it goes. Because if you look, the prism has rectangles for sides, and the pyramids have triangles for sides. See that? Every single side is shaped like a triangle. If you were to open a pyramid up and unfold it, a square pyramid would look like this. A triangular pyramid would look like this. See? So here would be the base, but all the sides are triangles. Where with the prism, all the sides are rectangles. Okay? There's only one shape that is congruent on every single side, and that's a cube. That would be a square prism. The lateral faces are equal to the bases. They're all the same size and shape. Now, there's some shapes that are not polyhedrons because they don't have rectangular sides like this. A cone, like a birthday hat, or a cone coffee filter, is a triangle with a circle for its base. A cylinder is a rectangle that has two circles for its base if you were to open it up. And if you were to open up a sphere, it would look very, very odd. And this isn't the only way you could unfold a sphere. There's many if you look online. So a cone is like this, sort of like an ice cream cone or a party hat. And the cylinder is like a paper towel tube that you open up, see? Except instead of holes, it has caps on the end, all right? So those are 3D figures. They have length, width, and height. And now you know the differences between prisms and pyramids. Prisms have a top and a bottom, two bases. Pyramids have only one. 
Prisms have rectangular lateral sides and pyramids have triangular sides, but they're both named off of the shape of their base. Okay? See you next video. Bye.